Hi everybody, Bob Gager here with another installment of Ask Bob, where I get to answer questions posed by our Facebook fans. Today's question comes from George, and George wants to know how to create a tiled photo layout. Well, George, that's really easy to do in Photoshop Elements, and we call it a collage. First thing to do is start off here in your Elements Organizer and pick the photos that you want to have in your collage. You can scroll around till you find some photos that are interesting to you. I'll just grab these right here. So go ahead and select uh, one or more photos, all the photos you'd like to use in your collage. And up here under the Create menu, so the top right of the Photoshop Elements Organizer, click on Create. And there's lots of different things that you can create. We're going to create a photo collage. So go ahead and select Photo Collage. This dialog box will open up. Really all you need to decide is how big a paper you want to print it out on. In this case I'm going to assume I'm printing on a 12 by 12 piece of uh, scrapbooking paper. So I'm going to select 12 by 12 and just make sure this auto fill with selected images is checked. Once you've done that click OK and Photoshop Elements goes about the work of creating the photo collage for you. You don't have to do the layout, you don't have to position your pictures. Uh, Elements just simply takes care of it for you. Okay, now that it's done we can do some fine-tuning. Now this didn't match the sample that you posted on our Facebook page. This is just sort of a random scattering of photos on the page. What we want to do is maybe make it look a lot more like the sample that you posted. And uh, by the way, thanks very much for posting a link to uh, what you were looking for. That really helped me understand exactly what kind of demo to give. So here, when, now that we've got our photo collage laid out by Elements for us, we want to come down to the bottom right corner here and click on the Layouts panel. So just one click on the Layouts panel and gives us a bunch of different layouts to choose from. The one that most matches the sample you provided is this one right here. So to apply this layout to my collage, all I need to do is double click on it and Photoshop Elements will just go ahead and relay out my photo collage based on this new layout. There you go, it's all done doing that. And now I can do some further customization. Down here on the bottom right, if I switch from layouts to graphics, there are a bunch of different graphics that I can apply. So if I don't like this green background, maybe I want a blue background, I just drag and drop the blue background onto my image and that green is replaced with blue. Or maybe I want some kind of goldish yellow. Uh, whatever I want as a background, I can just drag and drop and Elements will automatically apply it as the background of my collage. If I scroll down in the graphics section, the next set of graphics I have to utilize is frames. and the frames that were applied automatically for me are just some simple white frames, but maybe I want uh, some black frames around my pictures, either a thick one or a thin one. I can go ahead and just drag and drop these frames onto my photos and they will automatically get applied to each one. And they don't have to all be the same, right? I've put some black frames around the top, maybe on the bottom we want to pick something different. I can scroll down and either put some white frames, some green frames, I'll just drag an orange one on there just so you can see very clearly the difference. So as simple as that, I've been able to change the frames around my pictures. Um, I'm going to go ahead and make them all black because I think that just looks better to have some consistency, but I wanted to show you that you can mix and match if that's the style that you're after. Alright, so now all our frames are black. And we can also rearrange uh, these pictures a little bit. You can see it automatically laid out the photos for us in each of these frames, but they're not quite how I would want them. So if I just double click on one, I can then reposition it, I can zoom in, I can zoom out, I can change how that particular picture is placed within that frame. When it's how I like it, I just click the green commit check mark and it'll go ahead and change that. So we might want to change that. Uh, this one here, we actually want her a little lower so we can see her face. Uh, this one here, maybe bring her in a little bit as well and a little smaller so we can see more of her, something like that. And this one here, maybe change a little bit as well. So you can play around, uh, have some fun get each picture looking exactly as you want it. 
You can also change the layout. So Elements went ahead and created this layout for us, but maybe I don't want this image here so big. Let's just go ahead and drag the right edge of that to the left to make it smaller. Go ahead and commit, and then let's do a similar thing here. We want to move this one over. So you can rearrange things all you want, uh, provide your own custom touch to the look of your photo collage. So that's how it's done. Hope that is what you were looking for, George. Uh, enjoy using Photoshop Elements, and uh, keep asking questions on our Facebook page. Take care.